<laughs> All right, we are at Go Cat Speed Shop in Denver, Colorado. And uh, November 2021, doing a little video about this uh, about this project my buddy's building. So uh, it's a original 1932 Ford 30, frame. 30, yeah, 32 Ford frame, 30 Model A Roadster body. Um, the car was built in Northern California, but uh, I built the engine eight years ago. And I'm having to redo the engine. I had to redo the engine because the input shaft wasn't cut off about three eighths of an inch. If you don't, it will push into the uh, crankshaft and destroy the thrust bearing and just shred the whole engine. So a little less than 10 years ago, this was a fresh flathead. Yep. And it was made it up to a T5. Yep. To a T5 tranny. But because the, uh, what was it, the input shaft? Mm -hmm was not trimmed, it was pushing into the motor, yep. and then it ended up chewing up the bearings. Yep, complete so, rebuild. Wow, how devastating. But it'll be better than ever now. Um, I repainted it, I didn't tell Ken, the new owner, what color I was gonna paint it, so. <laughs> I think pink would've been nice. Yeah. Uh, pink with some purple stripes. It came out a little more um, cranberry than I had hoped, <laughs> but I think it looks really good. What can you tell us about the uh, heads and the intake here? Those they look are great. sharp heads that were made by um, they were made out in Pismo Beach by Pat McGuire. These heads were about, that's about eight, nine years ago. And then that's an original Eddie Meyer intake from the late 1930s. And it's wow. water cooled, but it's been filled so water doesn't flow through the top anymore. An but, original uh, yep. Eddie Meyer intake water, yep. water. from the 1930s. Uh -huh. And what? then I polished everything. Originally it would be water cooled. Yep. So it gets two brand new Strombergs. I'm going to rebuild those. That's a brand new polished power gen, and it's running an MSD ignition. And this is now a 304 cubic inch with an ISKI 400 Junior can. 400 so Junior? Yeah, I've driven this car. It's uh, it's very fast. Nice. It'll it'll piss off a lot of small blocks. <laughs> now, why would you want to piss off small blocks? Right. <laughs> now, you can't see under the back, but it's got a polished Winters quick change rear end. Okay, in the back? Yeah, if you can get up on A polished it. Winters yep. quick winter. change. Yep. Look at the rumble winter. seat. Yeah, this whole car will be back together here by Monday and Tuesday. So, we'll go into here and take a look at the yeah. Winters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that baby. Yep. Yeah, it's a pretty high dollar build. Super clean under here. Yep. Well, yeah, there isn't a thousand miles on this car. It's been sitting in uh, my buddy Ken's garage. Is this uh, maybe a Volkswagen dual exhaust kit? <laughs> yeah, no. no. It just looks similar, sorry. It's, it's just running glass packs. Okay. Yeah, with headers. So yeah, the whole car will be put back together. There's here. one of the wheels. Yeah, the next day or two. It's a neat car. It's all original. This car, this body was painted in 1957. Really? Yep. With that paint? Yep. So that's uh, going to be lacquer paint. Yep. And uh, the owner decided just going to leave it alone. And the nicks and scratches. I mean, it's a true hot rod. It's a driver. But the engine's show condition. Interior is nice. You can see the seats inside here. And check out these panels. They did. Yeah, I don't get that. So you got these little access panels. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat, huh? Wow, and it just folds over. Yeah, yeah, it's a custom interior. Huh, that's great. This piece was all custom made, the floorboards. So, it, like I said, it's So, of a, course, this piece would bolt right back over the transmission. Yep. And the transmission stamped Speedway, huh? That's the adapter kit. To oh, bolt I got gotcha. you. Okay, gotcha. yeah, but of that's course. A, uh, yep. Mid 80s GM, well, it's a Borg Warner, but GM bottom and used them in their S10s, Camaros. I think they even put some T5s and Mustangs, if I recall. Nice. So, all right, heck of a car. Yeah, and we'll do another video when we get it fired up here. Yeah, absolutely. All right, signing off from Denver, Colorado, right next to the 1950 businessman's coupe. And the uh, what year's the truck again? 46 truck, 46 pickup. And you know, this will probably be on the road sometime soon. It was a great, nice, beautiful, clean pickup. Of course, we've done a couple of videos on the uh, 50 coupe. And uh, wow, what a, what a great area for some uh, Fords. 
So check it out right before Thanksgiving and uh, hope you enjoy it. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you can so we can get it off the ground. And uh, before we leave, actually I'm going to uh, show you some great, a great collection of intakes, flathead intakes. And, and uh, there were some aluminum heads over here, but I mean you won't see a, too many collections that are better than this. Just yeah, impressive as hell. Sorry, it's such a mess, but it oh. is a working shop every day, so. It's fantastic. All right. God bless America, and. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's go, Brandon. Mm -hmm.